Hi all, it's Ziv from Elementor. Today I'll show you a creative way to use the Lottie widget as a button and set it to play an animation and open a menu pop-up at the same time. These subtle animations can make a big difference, really improving the UX and increasing engagement. So let's see how it's done. From the home page, I'll go ahead and click here to edit the header. Then search for and drag in the Lottie widget. I'll change the source to external URL because I will be using this online Lottie animation link. Then simply paste it. Let's first design it a bit before making it work. In style, I'll decrease the width a bit so it fits in nicely. And to change the color to black, simply go to CSS filters and set the brightness to zero. Now let's bring it to life. First, I'll make sure the animation plays according to my preference. I'll set the trigger to on click, so the animation starts playing upon clicking the Lottie button. Great. Next, it's time to make it open and close a pop-up. For this tutorial, I'll use a pre-designed menu pop-up. Let's quickly check it out. As you can see, it takes up the entire screen, giving it that cool effect when it opens. I also hit the close button because the Lottie widget should both open and close the pop-up when toggling it, meaning it needs to be clickable at all times. Therefore, we need to make sure the entire header appears on top of the pop-up. So let's go back to the header and see how it's done. We will use the Z-index setting to organize the stack order of our elements. An element with the greater stack order is always in front of an element with the lower one. You can set the stack number on any section, column or widget under the Advanced tab. I'll go ahead and set the Z-index for the entire section. I'll set it to 10,000, so it will always be on top, especially above the pop-up. OK, it's time to set the Lottie widget to toggle the pop-up. In the Lottie drop-down, I'll change the link to Custom URL and click on the Dynamic Tags icon. Then under Actions, choose Pop-up and set the action to toggle. Lastly, search for the pop-up and select it. Let's update and check it out. Cool! The Lottie widget both opens and closes the menu pop-up. Well, that's it! Now you know how to use the Lottie widget as a button and set it to play an animation and toggle the menu pop-up at the same time. These subtle animations can make a big difference, just like these animated social icons for example, set to play on Hover. So go ahead, add your own Lottie animations to your designs. They really help increase engagement and make your site stand out without touching any code. Have fun playing around and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips and tutorials. Ciao for now!